So, you're looking at buying a brand new sparkly Ryzen 5000 series CPU. Or, if you're a lucky git, you already have one on the way. And you're hearing that Ryzen works best with RAM speeds X, Y, and C, timings this, and timings that. If this has left you confused and you're not sure what the crack is, then I have some great news for you. I have gone out and done all the legwork for you, and here I have the layman's guide to what RAM is and why it is the best for your spanking brand new Ryzen 5000 CPU. Let's tackle why RAM frequency speeds are even important to begin with. The Ryzen CPUs have what AMD call Infinity Fabric, which simply put is the speed in which your CPU cores can communicate with other components. The faster it is, the faster your CPU can execute what's being demanded of it. But why does memory come into play here then? It's a good question, kiddo. And well, that's because the Infinity Fabric speed is tied to your memory speeds by Fudu Magic, but only to a certain point without some manual tinkering. But frequency speeds are not the only thing to be considered. There is another and frankly more important thing you need to take into account. Memory latency represented usually as a series of four numbers. So think 18, 20, 20, 20, 40, and then some letters CL or CAS, which mean the same thing. Honestly, memory latency is just as if not more important than the frequency speed. And the lower the number, the better the performance. But you came here for an easy answer, right? Well, okay, but just for you. 18, 20, 20, 40 or under is good. Again, any lower is better, but expect to pay more as these numbers come down. If you're still confused, you can always play it super safe and buy Ryzen optimized RAM. Easy peasy, done deal, but don't expect to get the fastest available. And I know what you might be saying, you came here to figure out which frequency speed was the best. And I hear you, the answer, the easy answer, is 3,600 megahertz. But Ryzen do say in their marketing material that you can use up to 4,000 megahertz. However, this requires manual overclocking and that's a topic I'm saving for another video. If you're finding this information useful so far, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And if you're here because you're thinking about building yourself a sleek new build, then check out my PC building series where I help my viewers pick out the correct parts for their systems. So in conclusion, folks, what was the best frequency? 3600 megahertz, right? And what else do we need to check? Timings, how low they are. How low, you ask? at least 18, 20, 20, 40 to be in sort of the optimal range, but the lower, the better. All right, you got it. And there it is. I hope it helps, bud. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.